Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will use this uh, Babeo ready to pour paints. I have just five of them and I don't have a lot of them anymore but I want to try to do a blowout. So I will basically just try to go like that um, and my white is mixed with my pouring medium only so I will just pour some white here on the sides and I will cover this one because I will go from here uh, and others will be, you know, covered hopefully with um, blowout paint, but I can always uh, paint them later if there will be some space that I will miss, or how can I say? So I will just make my hands dirty a little bit. <laughs> I think that I will try to cover this part too. Just a little more white here. Um, and my base is not thin like for a Dutch pour. I don't even know how thin it should be because I never did a, a su successful Dutch pour completely. <laughs> so, just thinking, let's start with a little bit of this. I will check which color is not a little bit. This is turquoise blue and let's add I will just drizzle them some of this metallic blue and I definitely added too much of this one so let's add some gold here and this one is aqua Do some purple. Um, this uh, these are premixed for pouring, but they are not all the same consistency. Weird, but true. Okay, and I will go just once more, but with less paint. I think this aqua is just so thin. Some purple. I see this purple is much thicker than every. I will pour a little white here. Nice layer here where I will blow. Maybe some drizzles. I hope that this will not be too much. I will just spread this here. I think that I have too much paint sometimes for the Dutch pores, I don't know. Let me just tilt this a little bit before I will blow out because I have a 
lot of paint, I think. I will torch it before I will use my, sorry that I'm a little confused, but those who know me know that I'm struggling with Dutch pores, so. I'm just playing with the paint. I hope that I will not blow all over the place. So I will put my hair dryer on low and cool. Some nice effects. I think that I had too much paint here, but otherwise this works amazing, I think. I will show you the close-up. Definitely I did add too much of this um, <laughs> blue here and probably too much paint but otherwise I'm kind of tempted to, 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 to go here I don't know I can still scrape it so I will just Go with the white line and try to blow it from here to, to that side. Probably I should add, let's play a little more. I will add a little of these paints here and blow once more. And aqua. Because I really like that part, so let's see what will happen. But the colors are amazing and the reaction I will, I can't wait to, to show you the close-up, I will just torch it for the air bubbles. So I think that if you 
want to do a, a Dutch pour. I'm not crazy about this part neither. Just too much of this metallic blue. just leave it wow can't wait with less color with less paint on the canvas it could work amazing so let me take you down for a close-up so here is a close-up just the way to see all those gorgeous details yes I did struggle again <laughs> with the blow dryer but wow look at this lacing Focus. I will go from this side. I love it. And I definitely had too much paint. Now I know. I hope that you will. Remind me next time. Don't use as much paint, Fiona. The sides with the lacing. You, you don't see anything here because of the glare. But, yes, I I know the composition is not, <laughs> I don't know, something that it would blow me away, but I like it, I really do, because of all these effects and everything and Wow, I'm happy. Happy Sunday to you all. And see you on the next one. Bye.